Schiavo, resident of Ancoats, Jersey Street. And um, all my family was born here. And you, uh, you said that you we had a little ice cream business, and we used to get our ice from the ice works in Blossom Street. Does that help you? Then? Yeah, it does. Yeah. Does it? Um, Everybody did anyway. Yeah. You'd have an old anchor, and it'd slide it in. You know, and you'd have to push it back. And who did you sell the ice creams to? Well, we went up to Holford. Did you have an ice cream van? Later on, yeah, but right. at first it was... I don't remember the... I remember the push badders and then it went to us and carts and then it went to the vans later. Oh, right. And was it your family that owned the business? Yeah, it was only a small one, you know, me and my brothers, that's all. Were they, were they Italian family? No, we were all born here. Even my mother ah. was born here. But, uh, parents were born in Italy. Oh right, okay. So when, did, when did your family move? Over here. Home? Yeah. Over That's a long time ago, isn't it? That Over generation. Years, yeah. Yes. Was that to do with the industry or? No, I think they had some, they either went to America, didn't they? Yeah. Italians yeah. escaped the villages. Yeah. Or they planted the self like in yeah. here, like yeah. Manchester, where there was, because it was the, it was a thickly populated uh, Italian area. Yeah. Later on, yeah. Lots of, I mean, that street there, that was, that was the League of Nations. Okay, right. There was Italians in it, there was French <laughs> in it, there was Irish in it, uh, there was Jewish in it. There was about seven or eight different nationalities, yeah. yeah. All in one little street there, Loom Street. But, uh, obviously, you know, the Victoria is the first what do you call them, council owned properties. Yeah, yeah, I just had a look at those. Yeah. Is that where you, did you live down there? Or no, where, where about did you Jersey live? Street. Oh, right. we, had a, we had a pub converted to an ice cream place. Oh, you know, wow. To make the ice cream. Yeah. Yeah. It, our, our building, I mean, I've got the days to ours. It was built in 1849 and I think my mother and father took it over in 18... No, 1927, I think. Oh, okay, right. So it was quite, it was quite nice. Our, our, our property, you know, you don't realise you yeah. lived in two ups and two downs that all had outside toilets. Mm. You don't realise that we had a bathroom and a yeah. toilet. <laughs> you never, so, like, yeah, never it didn't look how lucky it is. Crust, yeah. crust your mind, you know. <laughs> and do you remember the ice cream? Did you get to eat a lot yeah, of them? Yeah, well, I made it later on, you know, hey, right. when my father passed away, yeah. It's, what kind uh, of ice cream was it like? Uh, you nice. were the it was nice, <laughs> nice kind. <laughs> it was, uh, it was uh, heavy, you know, and it was. Well, people had pride in making ice cream. Yeah. You know, uh, there were so many. I mean, it, the names there was Pretanos, there was Granellis, there was Viscos, there was my own family, Schiavos, Tianis, Reyes. Must have been 20 different ice cream people, you know. Oh, right. In the little uh, district. But I believe before the Italians moved there, it was the Irish that lived here. Yeah. I mean, that was our school there, St. Michael's. This building church, here? That, yeah, and that's the church there. Did you that go to that church? I went, yeah, I, mean, I go to I still go to church. Yeah. I'm one of the nutters, I still go. <laughs> <laughs> it's not too nutty. <laughs> it's not too nutty. <laughs> and are you here today for the for the I'm witch parade? I'm just watching parade. Back, yeah, I've, uh, I've dragged myself away from the tennis. <laughs> 